I had an opportunity to coach Chris Thomas uh, on a world championship team with the St. Louis Rams, and uh, it was my privilege to have an opportunity to work with someone who's very, very special, not only as a, as a player, but also as, a, as an athlete. And the thing that I've always believed in is if you really care about people and, and care about um, their development and care about them as human beings, the chances of helping those people are much greater. And, and the one thing Chris Thomas has is he has, a, I think, a great passion for athletic sports, football in particular, um, but a great passion for people. And Chris's personality, his work ethic, uh, you know, the kind of guy he is and his attention to detail really allowed him to, to reach a level of, of competency that he would not otherwise have reached had he not been that type of an individual. I know Chris Thomas uh, because I played with Chris Thomas, not only with the Niners, but also the Washington Redskins. So our relationship on and off the field has grown uh, definitely in a positive way. He's always been one of those guys that I can trust, I can allow into my house, into my family, and, and, and uh, sit down with and break bread with. Uh, Chris and I first got together in 93. Uh, we were with uh, the Chargers together. Uh, uh, really gotten to know each other over the years and, and, and played together, uh, you know, spending time after practice and uh, doing more stuff than everybody else, just trying to just trying to make our way in the NFL. But then, uh, you know, then when we both got the opportunity to play, we were, you know, we were out there together enjoying things and uh, being able to to reap the rewards of you know of all the hard work we had we had really put in together. I don't know if Chris Thomas through the National Football League. Uh, I had the opportunity to work with him at the St. Louis Rams for a few years, and uh, he made an immediate contribution. Uh, first, by example and work ethic, his relationship with his teammates and his respect for his coaches. If you're going to be a leader, I think one of the best ways to become a leader is to be able to develop good relationships with people through communication. And, and Chris has this attribute. He can do that. People can learn from watching him work and listening to him communicate and watching how he develops and works with relationships. That's why he will always be looked up to uh, as a leader uh, because he is what he is. I think anybody that's worth, worth Chris Thomas loves and respects him. The most dominant characteristic or attribute that Chris Thomas has is his, his passion to do things right. The example he sets by demonstrating what he is by what he does and to do it the right way on and off the field in communication with his coaches and his teammates and his community and his own family uh, excels and goes way above what even most professional athletes really do even those so-called big name guys he would know how to work he'd know how to prepare he'd know how to do things the right way and, uh, and he, he's served a tremendous purpose did a great job. That's why we in Kansas City all have tremendous respect for Chris Thomas.